Oh, sweet! A Darth Maul. Ah, it comes with two head sculpts, 282, fine. Oh, but where's the speeder version? <laughs> Collectibles and hello, mahalo, mashallah, mahalo. It's been a while since I've made a video, but because I've been gone, that's about it. I've just been busy. I don't know. I've just been busy, super stoked with making all kinds of kits. People have been ordering from me all the time, and it's just crazy. It's, I love the love I'm getting because my art skills are like perfection. So, Hot Toys has gone with their line up for the prequels the prequels let me talk about the prequels and hot toys it's like babies everywhere they're releasing everything prequel and it's just overwhelming my head Django Fett Airborne Troopers Commander Cody Count Dooku's Dookies Darth Maul the one-fourth scale Vader which I haven't done a buyer pass on yet but I'm definitely going to do one don't worry now this, the Darth Maul, and thank God, they made it a DX series, which means we're going to get the cool flippy boxy with the thing and the foam and the thing with the head sculpt. Like, <laughs> so that's cool. Yes. Um, they are offering the regular edition DX without the Sith speeder, the blood, what, the blood fin, I guess, I think you call it, or Maul calls it. And um, that's a uh, separate thing. They're making this a special edition. And then that one a... With... I don't get the special edition. I don't know. I think that Sideshow calling it special edition when you get the little holocrom they're, sh holocrom they're showing right here. So what this is is basically 282 is everything without a Sith Speeder. Now, this is... 282 is no Sith Speeder. Um, we'll go over pricing and whatnot. In a, in a second here. Okay, so now switching over to the main deal right here is the whole package. You're getting with the DX. The head sculpts, everything, the, the special little whatever that thing is, the hologram of himself. I don't know why they give a hologram of himself. I, I thought it would be like Sidious or something because why would Maul have a hologram of himself? It's just kind of weird to me. Um, I guess, I don't know. But... <sighs> Yeah, it's a DX. It's small. But damn, $405? I don't see what's, like, worth $405. Now, go back to Emperor Palpatine's chair and all his stuff with the LEDs in his chair. It's basically the same thing. But this one's a bike. Right? Right. Palpatine was, what, three-something? Low three? Why the hell is this being $400? Why is this $400? What the hell have you done, Hot Toys? Again, with this pricing thing? Shit. Holy shit, dude. $400 for this. Now let's go over some picks. So, what he comes with, and I'm pretty sure he has rolly eyeballs, like Jack Sparrow had in the in his DX. They come with little rolly eyeballs so he can look side to side like a creep and it'll be like all that kind of stuff. He comes with his macro inoculars, I guess you would call it. Different sights of saints and hands. Uh, a, a single blade and it's showing you can do swooshy dual blades, but I don't see him with another blade at the other end, which is kind of weird. Um, hopefully they include the double blade, which would totally be stupid. It's in the promo pics here, but it's not here. And here's the face where it's like, ah! and then the regular face, which either face, it's utterly amazing. The detail. Oh, my God. And then you have a probe droid, recon droid, whatever you would call it. And his lightsaber hilt with his super large, his little weird hologram of himself, um, his speeder bike, the blood fin, and then the display it's going to be on. Um, okay, that speeder is just overly priced. But here we have the promo shots of him. Um, I can't go wrong with this figure. Definitely buy this figure. 
if you are a prequels butthole fan, like I am, a butthurt fan like I am, um, definitely go for it. Definitely buy them. Um, it's something you just cannot pass up on if you're a prequel fan. It's, for God's sake, even if you're a Clone Wars, Rebels, whatever fan, it's Maul. And they're making a DX, which is awesome. Now, 280 for this would be on the high side. It's okay, though, because they're probably going to come out with a DX packaging where you get the foam inserts in the box, and the box looks really nice, and it's huge, and it flips open, and it's all fancy. Okay, I'll fall for it. 280, okay, sure, I'll go for it. Now, with this being with the bike for a whopping hundred some dollars just for the bike that bike better be made out of some real shit like i'm talking metal i'm talking real deal steel on this bike but i can tell you what it's not i can just look at it right now and tell you it's not steel anywhere it's just a flimsy piece of plastic that's going to be worth crap later on the main package is right here in the um, mall figure. I like how they did a little sand waves coming out of his feet. A little nice photography there. But here we have Maul screaming to his death. Um, I don't know. The screaming face is it's menacing. I love that. It's a snarling Maul look. Ah! I like it. It's really menacing. Now it goes. Now I love that they give the. I love that this has two hit sculpts. I just love it. That's why I'm accepting it for 280. Otherwise, I wouldn't. I would say bullshit. But it does come with a quite a plethora of things you can say. Um, with it being Maul, Maul has his robes, his uh, crazy looking head sculpt. Love the way they did the teeth. The teeth is just ugly, stupid Maul look. Here he is fighting in that fight with Obi Wan or Qui Gon, whoever it may be. And it's just, it just looks, it knocks the shit out of Sideshow. You got to agree with that. It knocks the shit out of Sideshows. Everybody's going to be flooding this on eBay, like selling their Sideshow and going to this. Sideshow is obsolete at this point in time right now. It's obsolete. Don't even worry about picking one up from Sideshow anymore. Cancel your pre-order if you even have one. And um, a probably lighted lightsaber right there um, with the swooshy looking thing. So cool looking. The swooshy thing, I'm digging. I'm digging the swoosh. I might have um, this guy with his swooshy things. I'm guessing the blades do pop apart at the end because this is the scene where it would be popped apart. Or like cut in half, you would say. How about this, guys? The most blurriest tease you can ever get. Like, I swear... Qui-Gon teased right there. So with him being extremely bur blurred out, I mean, we all know he's coming. We all know that. For a fact, we know he's coming, but when? Because I had no damn idea Maul was going to be re released the week of SDCC, San Diego Comic-Con. I had no idea. I was completely, like, stoked. I was changing my pants every single, like, 30 minutes because of the releasing of SDCC. And I was waiting to make a video. I'll cover up the releases. Maybe I won't. It's pretty much going to come out anyway. And I'll do a buyer pass and talk about it then. Because everybody knows the releases is just there. It's about the information, the prices, the release date. Speaking of release date, October 2019. Probably is when we'll see him. My birthday time. Uh, it's October. I'm a Libra. I'm a Libra. So with Qui-Gon being teased, obvious, obvious thing. But I'm thinking, because he's so blurred out, it may be just for the picture, but because he's so blurred out, they don't even have a final, like, works in for him. This may be a random figure, like, with a wig and some robe-looking thing with a green saber popped out, just so it can be in for the promo. Um, I'm feeling that it will be another long time till we get Qui-Gon. I'm thinking maybe till Darth Maul's release, then Qui-Gon because that bitch be gone and then we'll get him here he is more with the blood fin and then his recon droid um here he is probably what i would go for i suppose because maul without his lightsaber lit is not maul maul is everywhere you see that bitch he's just grabbing a lightsaber and be like i'm gonna cut you in half so he's happy he's trigger happy he's a he's a vicious he tatted his whole body to dedicate himself to the sith he's just dedicated like crazy now here's another thing, alongside with the googly eyes that's coming out, um, he has wired 
um, fabric, wired um, robes, which is awesome. Sideshow didn't have it. This does. Awesome that they did that. They, they topped Sideshow once again. Awesome, awesome, awesome work. As you can see, more of his, art, his articulation, hands down, is going to be amazing because it's not hindered at all. Only thing is I'm worried about them ankles because right here he's breaking his cankles and just he, he can't move them. Which is totally fine because I would not want a break in the um in in, in the ankles. And this figure, no worries. No worries of no pleather. I mean his belt, but that thing is easily replaceable. Um easily fixed. Whatever. It's not like a boots that's gonna be messing up and all stuff like that, but nothing is gonna be like this is a long time figure to keep. And he just looks badass. He nonstop looking badass. Like his straight up ninja kick, like right there, just looking badass. I cannot this looks super real, like straight out of the movie scene. Amazing work. This just this looks exactly like the actor who portrayed Dark Maul. Like you just Ray Park just sweeps my mind how they got. You thought Sideshow did perfect, and then Hot Toys comes along and slaps Sideshow in the ass and says, "Hey, check this out." It's just like wow. It, I mean, this kind of looks weird because he's like <laughs> deuces, but. I mean, they can't grab every single pose from every single move from the movie, frame by frame. They're just they're just going front. They're just going freaking happy trigger with the pictures because you can get so many scenes because that's the amount of things they get with it. Um, I don't know why they have so many shots of what he comes with in here, but um, there he is with all this stuff. But oh God, four hundred dollars, buy or pass, y'all. <sighs> Four hundred and five dollars plus shipping. Shipping's probably going to be twenty-five at max because it's probably going to be a little bit bigger. Let's see how much the non-refundable deposit is going to be. Forty dollars. How many times you can make this payment? Okay, so here's a, here's a little bit of a good news. At least you'll get like seven payments, seven months of this, which kind of makes it like. Hey guys, we're ripping you off, but we're gonna help you shoot yourself in the foot. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Come on, guys. I can't do all the damn work. <laughs> Click by. So, ah, uh, 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 where's my gun? I have my. Where's my nine mil? I don't have it here. I probably can't even use it on on YouTube. But ah, I just shooting myself in the foot here. Why was I looking for my gun? But. Hey, 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 Dad, bye. Bye! <laughs> no, don't do it, don't do it. Hey, guys, just buy the figure. I'm literally obsessed with Darth Maul, and I can't, get, I can't really get to say no. Just do it. Do it. Lord Vader, do it. You know you want this figure. There it is, guys. Just straight buy this figure. Shoot yourself in the foot. Do what you must. Buy this figure. I'm telling you, if you're a prequel cool fan, you're going to want this. You're going to lick it. But if you're not a prequel cool fan, don't buy it. And if you're just a Star Wars fan, you love Star Wars, buy the original edition. Which is the no Sith Speeder edition for $282. They just want to get those $2. I spit on my computer. It's all over my computer. It's nasty. It looks nasty. What? Anyway, the two eighty two. I don't know why they're pulling your two dollars and five dollars more, but come on, make it even. Stop. Stop. They're grabbing you, or sideshow is. Somebody is. They're distributing weird. If you're if you're super prequel diehard butt hurt fan, and as soon as somebody talks shit about like Anakin being a puss, and you cry at night. Buy the Sith Speeder for $400 because you know you're going to happily do it. Anyway, you love Star Wars, but you're like, holy shit, $400. Go with this guy. Special, special edition. You're still getting the head sculpt. You're still getting everything. No Sith Speeder. How, you gonna get, how, how the hell are you going to display the Sith Speeder anyway? Literally. You're not going to have, like, freaking Darth Maul, like, straight up, like, Harley. <laughs> You're not. Honestly, we're not. We're gonna go make him stand up. But for you completionists like me and a diehard fan, Sith Speeder, way to go. $400? Hey, yo, shit. Um, if you, like I said, I keep repeating myself over and over. I know you guys are tired. 
If you're a diehard fan, Star Wars, love it all. Pull the trigger on this 282 guy. Now, you're a selective figure guy. You're selective. You don't like the prequels and you like the old trilogy. Skip on this. Because really, Darth Maul has nothing to do with the old trilogy. Absolutely a hero. So, skip on it. Simply as that. Simple, simple, simple. Just like I skipped on the DX Luke. I don't care that I don't have it. Screw that. I don't care if he comes with a big giant stripper pole. That's upside down. I don't care. I don't even care. If I see him online for a hundred bucks, I'll still be like, eh. I wouldn't care, really. I didn't care for it. I didn't care for the old trilogy that much. I'm a little prequel baby. I'm a millennial. I'm a whiny bitch. I don't know why I'm talking like this. But I just have to. I'm buying that damn four hundred dollar one. I got people all over Instagram. Link the Jedi man. You stopping the shit out of me? But I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do it. So. If you like what you saw here in these company collectibles, make sure you subscribe, like the video, and share because sharing this with your parents is going to absolutely make you closer to your parents. And like you give a shit. But hey, I'm here for you. I'm going to tell you what to get and what not to get. Yeah, I like it on the ass, don't you? But I just, I have to, guys. I'm sorry. If you like what you saw, like I said, subscribe, like the video. Um, Continue to support me, please, because I can't afford these figures, and I just want to have fun. And all of you have fun with me. Bye!